What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and right here in front of me I have a box from WWE Euro Shop and I can't explain to you how excited I am to rip into this box, okay? So what's inside is it should be a WWE commemorative championship title belt. Um, I'm not going to say which one it is for the moment, you've already seen it in the title actually, right? So I've got the big gold world heavyweight championship in here, probably the most iconic and best looking championship in the whole of wrestling. Um, basically, quick backstory upon this, I've been wanting a championship for about three years, but I, I mainly wanted the WWE championship, but as you'll know, people from the UK and even from the US, them, them titles are around, for the UK it's £378, like, that was the price of a brand new PlayStation 4, like, you, you know what I mean, uh, back in the day when they first came out or something, I, I'm not sure, that's how much I bought mine for about three years ago, but, I literally, there was a sale on WWE Shop the other day, and I saw this World Heavyweight title, and it came down, to 115 pounds and I thought you know what I can't miss this opportunity I've got to get it so without further ado ladies and gentlemen I'm about to rip this box open right now oh my god guys you know what for a commemorative this is actually heavier than I thought it was I mean I've obviously never held a real one can't believe this. Obviously here, just confirmation from WWE Shop. I've got a bit stuck on my foot. That's not good. Throw the box out of the way. It comes in this nice, I'm not sure what material it is. It's like a sort of a felt material carry bag. Yeah, I, I've never held a real full length belt before. Like obviously a replica. And they're metal, so they're heavier. But I mean... Loads of people say that these are really light, this has got quite a good weight to it. Right, so I've seen replica belt videos before, I'm going to now copy them. The best bit about this is when I unzip the carry bag. <laughs> got the red backing guys, I didn't think it would have the red backing, oh my god I'm so happy. The snake skin red back. Oh, I'm so happy right now, I actually can't be happier. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not even going to look at the camera, I was like, okay, screw it, I lied, the World Heavyweight Championship, guys, let's get this plastic off of it, yeah, look, if I show you guys, it has the red, the red snake skin back, I really hoped that this would be on my title, but in the picture, you might be able to tell, um, in the picture on WWE Shop, it has, uh, you can zoom in to the back of the championship, like what the back may look like, and it had a black backing, so I only noticed this after I ordered. Okay, I'm going to put the belt down for one second, guys, and I'm going to show you what comes inside the carry bag. So, I'm sure you might have seen one of these before, it's just got a little, like a little foamy sheet to protect the plates, and also some silica gel. Uh, I don't need this, so I'm just going to throw that over there. I missed and it went on my... Don't laugh at me. I don't need this, so I'm just... Um, anything else? No. On the inside, it's got this, like... To be honest, the first thing I could compare this to, it looks like denim. It's not, but... Yeah, so that's the carry bag out of the way. Let's throw that down. And ladies and gentlemen, the big gold. Yes! Yes! yes. So I'm now going to take this off of the face camera and we're going to do an in-depth like coverage of the big gold. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, I'm here, and um, basically what I'm going to be doing now is giving you quite an in-depth review. I'm not obviously a belt expert, so I'm not going to go into everything, but if you're like me and you just like watching BIM, like if you like binge watch replica videos on YouTube, then yeah, this is perfect for you. So, basically, obviously this is the WWE World Heavyweight Championship Big Gold Commemorative Belt. It is a 2016 edition, I know this as on the back it has a 2016 stamp, and it also has the 2mm plates. 
Okay, so without further ado, I'm now going to get hands on and we're going to start with the main. Okay, so I'm going to take you from the side all the way across quickly. Obviously, you can see this has a nice floral design pattern. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, guys. I do know it does suck already. And then, obviously, yeah, so it's the big goal. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, eight jewels on the main plate. And, yeah, it's slight. it's got raised bits to it. If I lift it up, you can see... The grapplers on either side are both raised. Obviously, the nameplate has to be raised. The globe is raised and the crown is raised, as well as the writing being slightly raised and the old scratch logo right there. So that's also raised. There's not a lot to it, the main plate. Um, I'll give you the dimensions in the description as I don't know them off the top of my head. That's for the entire belt. Yeah. If I lift it up, you can see there's another view of the belt. Obviously, it does have the old logo because this title never made it into the new uh, network logo phase of championship belts. Yeah, so now we're going to do... I'm only going to do one side plate because they, they are exactly the same. Um, obviously, one, two, three, four jewels on this plate. And once again, slightly raised, nice floral pattern throughout. And then it's got this like this flat chunk here as well as it's like a it's not a nugget texture like the old um i think it was jmar championship belt from 2011 which randy orton held um correct me if i'm wrong on that it might i'm not sure whether it was jmar or not um but yeah anyways so yeah wherever wherever like this uh patterns or wherever something needs to be done they have left out a big blank space for that to go in so once again, grappler, and then obviously you can see this blank space going around him. Uh, them, sorry. Floral pattern, that's literally it. Other side plate, exactly the same. And now I'm going to take you on a trip from one side of the belt all the way to the other. Now the strap has some nice tooling. Obviously this is sewn on, but it's got a nice print to it. Uh, the snap box isn't part of the strap, obviously. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Is It looks like two shoes, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I, might be the only one that, I might be the only one that can see that. Anyways, tell me what that is. I, I really don't know. And now we go over here. Nice tooling pattern of through, at, throughout the belt going along the outside. That's really nice. Having to get a bit further away now, guys. Yeah, I'm not sure. The, the pattern does, it is consistent throughout the belt. And then obviously, this side, another sewn on snap box. That's the female snaps, the other side is the male snaps. Yeah, so now I'm going to flip over the championship belt, and I will see you in a second. Okay, so I've currently just flipped over the championship belt, and it does have the red snakeskin pattern, and it is... Um, like a snake skin material as well you can feel it obviously I know how it's now a 2016 version you can see current WWE logo there current WWE logo there and you can you might be able to see if I get the light in a bit different if I zoom in 20 oh that's 2015 not 2016 but never mind same same thing it's a new version of the championship um, yeah, going down, you see these two screws. This is what you'll see on the replica. These are just slightly smaller versions of them. This is for the nameplate, as they do have interchangeable nameplates on the titles. Now we have these sort of rivet things that hold on the plates. These are for the commemorative plates only. Don't worry if you're getting a replica. Basically, these aren't screws. They can't come off, so you can't re-leather. I'm not sure. Well, actually, I think you can. I think you can get like a flathead screwdriver underneath and pop them off. But don't do that, I wouldn't recommend, because I'm not sure whether you can actually put them back on right. Anyways, I'm not going to do it, so I recommend you don't either. Coming over this side, obviously the back of the female snap box, and on this side we have the back of the male snap box. That's pretty much it. Once again, certificate of authenticity, basically, the stamp. Not certificate, what am I on about? And then it's got a warning saying, small part, not for children under three. 
this is not a toy, which it isn't. Anyone who says these replica belts are toys, you're a liar. Okay, so I'm not really good at these, but that's pretty much all there is to it to this title. So I'm going to flip back to the face camera now. Okay, guys, so that was my review of the WWE Big Gold World Heavyweight Championship right here. There is a few things I did forget to mention, so I'm just going to cover them now. One, this is a commemorative belt. So what I mean by that is commemorative, if you didn't already know, means it's not. Basically, it's not a metal belt, it's plastic, it's an acrylic plastic, and it is very solid, like, literally. It's not one of them, like, the WWE Mattel Championships, this is the real, sh like, thing, if you know what I mean. So, literally, if you're going for a commemorative, I 100% recommend it. If you have the money for a replica, obviously go that route, but if money is, if financially it is a problem then the commemorative is literally just as good. This, I, I never thought I'd actually buy a commemorative belt. I always thought, no, I want to go the, like, the best. I want to get the replica. No lie, I was so much more happy I, than I thought I would be with this championship. So 100%, if money's a problem, or even if you just don't want to spend that much money on a WWE belt, commemorative options are always a solid alternative. And also... I forgot to mention the curving in this belt. Now, the replica, I know that you can curve replicas, no lie, this is flat. So, that is the only downside. Uh, no, there's another downside as well, but these, this is literally flat. I wouldn't, I'm not going to attempt curving it because it makes that, like, plastic cracking sound if you do. I know Hazard F5, uh, you may know him from a couple of videos ago. Hazard F5 has a really good video on his channel of how to curve replica belts, so go and check that out if you already have a replica and you don't know. Um, yeah, and the final thing is the strap. Now, I know WWE straps are not very good. I mean, you can see the flexibility on this. If I hold it up once more, like, I would hope that the belt would at least touch here. Nope, just literally like that. And then if I put it over my shoulder and turn this way, you can tell... It sticks up, you see? Um, that's not brilliant. Ho I'm hoping that will go away over time. But what my theory of it is, is because these aren't, they don't have as much weight to them as the actual replicas themselves, the plastic doesn't weigh down the strap as the replicas weighs down the strap. Especially like the replicas with the gold tips, they add extra weight on them. I think. Yeah, right, so here, now I'm going to talk to you about some upgrades I think I'm going to do. Um, obviously, I want to get my own Joe Anthony nameplate. Anthony's my middle name, and that's I feel like that's what my wrestler name would be. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, obviously, it's not that's not certain. All of these things aren't certain. They're just what I want to do, because most of the stuff I'll have to get imported from the US, and that will cost me a lot of money. So, Joe Anthony nameplate, might get that from Wrestling Superstore. I'm not sure. And also, I want to get a gold tip for the belt. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the actual belt. I mean, I would re-leather um, as long as it had a back. But really, I don't know any people that would can re-leather commemorative belts and can re-leather in the UK. So if you are watching and you know someone, please leave a comment. It's not for certain. It's just something. I mean, I'm on, I'm dreaming. Right now, I've got the belt, and I'm thinking, yes, I can do so much to it, but really, I'm now thinking of the barriers. But yeah, anyways, 100% recommend this cha championship. It is beautiful. Like, literally, this is probably the best-looking championship in the whole of wrestling history, and I really wish they brought this back instead of the Universal title. But never mind. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.